what is up youtube i don't know if you guys can see me so today i'm gonna be making stuffed peppers um what you're gonna need is a pack of ground turkey you're gonna need four peppers i got four because now i'm using four you're gonna need mixed peppers for the ground beef then you're gonna need well, you're going to need an onion, but I chose to do diced yellow onions. And I'm putting mushrooms in my mix. You're going to need salt, Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce, um, seasoned seasoning free salt free seasoning you're gonna need mixed garlic black pepper I'm gonna put some oil in here and let it warm up put your oil in put that oil in now what you're gonna do is I did another trick, but I'm putting salt on the outside so I can see all my salt in my pan while it's cooking. Here. You take the pack of meat, put it on top, I don't have to do it at all. No one saw that. Put this to the top. Then turn this and put it on the Take it down. Put it up. I decided to pre-cut my peppers. You're gonna cut them into little bowls, cut the seeds up, and you're gonna cut the tops off. But you're gonna reuse the tops when they go in the oven. Um, as far as my ground pep, my ground turkey goes, I um, I put salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and um, I didn't add my garlic yet. And I did not add my vegetables yet, and I'll be doing that after this pot of rice is done. I decided to put some rice on because I felt like there was not enough meat, so I'm putting a little rice in my um in my peppers. You're gonna need, like I said before, you're gonna need the fried mix peppers with the onions. Some mushrooms. I'm gonna slice these up even smaller so I can put them in my peppers. And you're gonna need a yellow onion chopped. Or you can use any kind of onion, but I'm using a yellow onion for this. So in this part, I decided to add chopped mushrooms. I added peppers and I added um, almost 50 pounds of my onions. I'm 
and I'm making everything up. So I'll put them. So I feel a lot of that oil. And I put my, my garlic and salt and pepper in the mix again. I'm going to make sure it's going to season as we go. So I'm just starting everything up. Mixing everything down. So I can cook. So my mushrooms can cook late. And my pepper. And then everything cook. And I'm going to add a cup of water in here. Sorry guys. I'm going to add a cup of water. So my meat won't dry out and so everything to cook all together. See that? Still cooking, but I want everything to cook to put in my mushroom. See that? All right. Okay, it smells good on this side of the camera. Got my peppers in there. I chopped my mushrooms up small because I don't like the taste of mushrooms. So I just chopped it up in the meat, so it won't taste like straight mushroom flavor. So just mix it all up. Keep mixing. Hey you guys, I'm down to the second to last final step. I got my peppers all carved out. My meat, I added chopped mushroom, garlic, onion, and stir fry vegetables. I made a pot of white rice to go at the bottom of it. So you got that. Um, at the end, you're going to need a bag of cheese to top your peppers off. I'm using pepper jack cheese instead of regular cheese because I think pepper jack cheese will give it that little kick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take vegetable oil Oh, and also set your oven to 350. So you're going to take vegetable oil and you spray it at the bottom of your four inch pan. This is a four inch pan so you don't all you're going to need. I like to do a lot because when it cooks, it's not going to sink or anything. You're going to need a spoon to scoop your, your stuff in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back to this video and I'm going to turn it around so I can show you guys. How I'm gonna stuff my pot. Okay, you guys, so I decided to put everything in bowls because I know how messy I can get when I'm in the kitchen, and I know that when it comes to this, I don't want everything all over the place. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take there's a little bit of water in here, but you're gonna take your pepper, <clears throat> you're gonna start off with the rice. I'm using white rice, you can use any kind of rice, but I'm using white with no butter or anything in it. You're gonna put the rice at the bottom of your pepper just a little too much like so you're gonna keep going okay you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna fill it to the top with the meat bottom and you're gonna keep going with this pattern when filling your peppers I don't know I'm putting a lot of meat in these or impacting a lot of meat with these so when it cooks I want all everything in there so you see this you got your rice at the bottom and you got your ground turkey I'm using ground turkey I got ground turkey at the top and this little pepper you're gonna bake your tops too so you can put them back on and I'll show you what that uh, result looks like at the end once I finish it off with the cheese on the, on the inside so you're gonna do this for your next three peppers and I'm gonna call you I'm gonna get back on so you guys this is the last final second final step you're gonna take your cheese and you're gonna take your cheese and you're gonna put them all on your peppers, covering up the meat. So when it bakes and melts, and when you rip into it, everything is gonna come together. You're gonna keep doing this until the tops are a little full. A little full, a little full. 
And I did do pepper jack, so it's gonna be a little spicy, but it's not all the way spicy. So you're gonna pack that. So I'm gonna show you guys what this. This is the before the product is melted and everything. So you're gonna have a finished product like this. We're gonna put everything in the oven. We're gonna let everything melt, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like, you guys.